ועושה לי מקדוש ושכנתי בסייכם. Make me a sanctuary so I may dwell amongst them. That's the Pesach in this week's parasha. Fast forward many, many years, Shloyma HaMelech is dedicating the Beis HaMikdosh and he offers a tefillah to the Rabbi Nishalolim. It's recorded in Malachim Aleph and he asks Rabbi Nishalolim, be with us, don't leave us, don't abandon us. And the question is, why would Shloyma HaMelech say such a tefillah? Explains the Balakeh to the following idea. As long as there was no Beis HaMikdosh, the Shechina was amongst every single one in Klal Yisrael. Shlomo Melech was worried. Once they were building a Beis HaMikdosh and now they were dedicating it, where would the Shechina go? It would primarily be focused in the Beis HaMikdosh and not on every single individual Jew. So Shlomo Melech was asking specifically now, make sure, Rabbi Yisrael, please don't abandon us. Don't leave us. We need the Shechina amongst every single one of us. And that's the Posik in this week's parasha. The Torah is indicating that although they were building a Mishkan, the objective was not that there should just be a holy place within the Jewish camp, but rather the Shechina should be placed besoichom, amongst every single individual in Klal Yisrael. Over the generations, we sometimes see Yidin, that a Zoycha, to have such a Muna, to have the Shechina within them is such an incredible sight. Meet El Chonon Danino. A Yid who lives here in Yerushalayim, he came to speak to us in Yeshiva this week and he told us about his son, Oyri. Oyri's been a captive in Gaza for over three months and his father El Chonon said he can barely sleep, he can barely eat. But he explained to us that he lives every single day with the Rabbi Nishalola. He talks to Hashem and he's able to realize that his son Oyri has a special Shmira. He's watched how some of his son's friends have been killed in battle and his son is hopefully still alive. And he mentioned to us how he watched his grandfather buy a pita in the morning and he said to his grandfather, what are you going to do about dinner? And his grandfather said, the same God that gave me the bread in the morning is going to give me the bread in the evening. He grew up, he understood to live with Hashem. He had a relationship with Hashem and he completely relies in the Rabbi Nishalaylam. Three partners of the men. Kudosh Avid, Reimo. The God, his father and his mother. Now, my son don't have his father and his mother. We cannot help him. Please, Kudosh Bokhu. You are the last partner. When we see such people, we realize what the Pasek in this week's parish is talking about. The Shechina is besoichom. The Shechina is amongst every single one of us that wants to allow the Shechina in. Even when times are hard and painful and difficult, we have to allow the Rabbi Nishlanim into our lives and into every single aspect of our lives. We daven that Oyri, together with all of the captives, come back well and healthy soon. And Be'ez HaShem, we should all be Zoycha to stand together with the Be'ez HaMikdash, with the Shechina inside every single one of us. Have a wonderful Shabbos.